you can see our server is live and uh, it's running so it is windows 10, windows 10 and this is what we're gonna do so keep watching this video and let's get started The first thing you need to do is to sign up for Linode. And for you to sign up for Linode, it's easier. Just go to your, open your browser, type in linode.com and you will be given a sign up page and you fill in all your details. Once your account is approved, well, one of the requirements you need is to create a Windows image. But if you don't want, if you don't have one, don't mind, I'm going to give you one for free, which is already in this video. So if you feel free to check it out, cause it is having the description on how you can get each and everything are you getting that windows image the other thing you need is the account for linode okay then after that you come over to create and then you select the server which you want i'll prefer debian if you don't mind but as well you can go for ubuntu okay and then okay i prefer this one and then you select the region which you want for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go for London and then you select the package of the server you want. Now, um, here you can go for any, depending on your budget, okay, depending on your budget and the RAM size you need, okay. I'm going to go for this, but uh, you can go for a bigger, uh, a bigger budget if at all you need a bigger system, okay. Now you can label this system. We are going to label it um, maybe uh, RDP. Okay. Then we can give it any password. So I'm going to give it uh, a password already running and it is clear. So you select edit. You come here, select full virtualization. You select direct disk you scroll down you say click save just to repeat you have to come configuration edit you select full virtualization boot settings you select direct disk and the rest you just click save after doing that, you come back here to set to menu, you select, you click rescue, okay. you click reboot into rescue mode. And you wait for the line to reboot your server done with uh, being rebooted then you come to launch console you go back to the notepad where you pasted your command You copy this command but the first thing you have to do is to look at this when you look at uh, this uh, this path it is ending with the VDA but you need to change it you remove V you put S you paste And then you press enter then you let the image to be downloaded onto your
hey guys we are almost done with downloading our image and what we need to do um is to go back to our Linode website and then we click reboot server okay we reboot the server reboot After rebooting your server, all you need to do is to click launch console and then you select Grish. Hope you can see we have already installed our Windows image onto our server and we have gotten ourselves a, a, a brand new Windows, uh, sorry, RDP. So this is kind of slow. What you need to do is to just copy your IP address of your server. You go to RDP or your preferred remote desktop client. Then you paste the IP. Uh, the username is administrator. Okay. and then you click connect you enter the password so it's just easy I made it easy for you guys to then you click this then you click yes and boom we are having our RDP ready to run and each and everything is working properly so this is our brand new remote desktop server with uh, with Windows 10 installed. Okay, we can customize it. Hope you can see it's about. Okay, it is a. Uh, then we can we can try to change this wallpaper to that uh, hope you can see our server is live and running very smoothly i hope you guys have got to know each and everything um we meet in another video god bless you